this is your boy Carly Boy and today we're gonna talk about on how to do your devotions so a lot of people is asking me on paano nga ba mag devotion so I get a lot of questions coming from my tiktok account which is in the description down below and ngayon sasagutin natin to sa video na ito and if you're new here to my channel so this is your boy Carlo Boy and I do post vlogs or sometimes my setups and everything uh, everything that we could talk about under the sun. So yun, paano nga ba talaga mag devotion? So let me go ahead and you know, uh, define devotion for you first. So ano nga ba talaga yung definition ng devotion? So, so for us to be able to understand kung ano yung devotion, we should be able to understand what does devotion mean. So devotion can be defined as loyalty or enthusiasm for someone. So when you say that you are devoted to someone, then definitely you are able to show your enthusiasm. You're, you're enthusiastic for them. Okay? Or even a religious worship. Thank you, Webster. So even a religious worship. So ano daw siya? Um, it's a religious worship. And also it is a profound dedication and passionately dedicated ka dun sa ginagawa mo yun. Or others, you know, um, try to define it as a way of spending time with God. Okay? So, that's the devotion. Is. So, kailangan maintindihan mo that devotion is not a uh, is not just something that you do when you feel like doing it. So, it's a intentional thing that you do. Okay? Kasi bakit? Sabi nga ng isang definition, it is a religious worship. So, we're talking about the word of God here. So, it is a worship. It is a form of worship when you are able, you know, to, to talk to God, to, to spend time with God. Okay? So, ano nga bang ma... Let's go straight to the point. I'm not gonna hold you kasi marami ng mga taong, uh, you know, a lot of YouTubers have already uh, defined the what devotion is. So, let me just go ahead and say this to you that what you need for a devotion, of course, is definitely a Bible. Okay? So, you need a Bible for your devotion. So, definitely... Paano, mga, paano ka magde-devotion kung wala kang Bible? Just come to think of it. Okay? If we're talking about the Word of God and you do not have your Bible, that's a no-no for us. So definitely have your Bible. Have your Bible. Okay? Get ready with your Bible. The first thing, this is the one of the, mo one of the most important thing here. You have to have your own Bible. And don't worry, I'm gonna do a review of this Bible soon here in my channel. Okay? And sunod, na kailangan natin is of course, if you're doing devotion, you have to write something. Or maybe if you're typing, then you don't need a pen. But if you're writing something, you do need a pen. Okay? So you need a pen, definitely. And of course, a notebook. A notebook that will, uh, it, it doesn't matter kung anong notebook yan. Uh, it, it doesn't matter kung magkano yung notebook mo as long as that you can write on that notebook then definitely go ahead and use that so before ako yung mga ginagamit kong notebook lang is yung mga uh, nabibili sa tindahan before but uh, of course uh, when time pass by and we get to, get to have a job then definitely makaka yun, you, you know nakabili-bili tayo ng maganda-ganda notebook so just, just use any notebook that is available sa inyong bahay or sa kung saan ka mo magde-devotion. Okay? And then also, uh, this one is uh, optional. Definitely optional siya. So, you can have some kind of this. It's called a devotional devotional. Okay? Devotional book. So, it contains um, it contains yung mga uh, yan o, mga topic-topic. So, it contains mga topic-topic. So, this one is Tagalog, pagkain spiritual. So, someone gave it to me. And, you know, uh, yeah, look at that. So, meron na siyang uh, devotion for each and every day. You can just bookmark that. And then, uh, you know, makakuha ka na ng devotion. But, of course, um, ang devotion ko is hindi siya pwedeng... Ganon. Okay? It's not gonna be random. It should be, kaya nga siya, it should be intentional. So, I would highly suggest to sa mga taong hindi pat, uh, new to doing devotion, then definitely go ahead and grab a devotional book. Okay? So, yun yung pinaka isa sa mga mahalagang part din na dapat ninyong gawin. And, of course, uh, one of the things then is you should have a quiet place. 
definitely a quiet place. So, hindi yung um, something na habang nag-devotion ka, nag-pray ka, merong music sa labas and it's going to distract you. So, of course, you're de you should treasure your devotion as your time with the living God. Then definitely, it has to be quiet. Okay? You have to focus on your devotion. So, kailangan, it, you need to have a quiet place. Okay? If you have to, if you have yung sarili mong kwarto, if you have your own room, then go ahead and buy a sign that says that do not disturb you because you are doing devotions. Okay? If you have your own room, that's gonna be good. Pero kung wala, then definitely, uh, dapat uh, tahimik yung place na pagde-devotionan mo rin naman. Okay? So, definitely, kailangan ng quiet place. Alright. Okay? So, and also, pick a time. Pick a time on when will you do your devotion. So, some people do their devotion bago, ano, bago kumain. So, they have this rule na no, break, uh, no Bible, no breakfast, something like that. So, meron naman na uh, after they prepare themselves, uh, after maligo, so umaga, pagkagising, maligo sila, and then they could have those, uh, they could have their devotion while they're doing their coffee. Or meron naman pagkagising na pagkagising, pwede yun, or pwede rin sa gabi when, if you could, kasi some people, of course, kapag kagaling ka sa trabaho, or you're already exhausted throughout the day, hindi ka na makapag-concentrate dun sa, sa devotion na gagawin mo. So, I would highly suggest do it in the morning, or do it on the time that you are most productive. Okay, kung yung, ano yung time na nasa pick, katulad ko, I am a night person. So, definitely, yung, yung brain cells ko is, uh, umaandar siya within uh, within the night okay so definitely it's com uh it's more efficient and effective for me to do my devotion night time ganun ganun din kahit sa mga preachings ko gabi ako gumagawa kasi eh i'm an owl person ano ang tawag nila doon hindi owl person yun eh uh, <laughs> nakalimutan ko anyways so if you know you can just comment it down below pero yun so choose or pick a time na kung saan uh magiging efficient, magiging effective pero at the same time comfortable yung magiging devotion mo. Okay? Alright. So, now that you have everything, that you have everything ready sa pagde-devotion mo. You have your Bible, you have your pen, you have your notebook, you have your devotional notebook. Then definitely, kung meron kang devotional notebook, mas madali nang gawin sa iyo lahat to. But then, kung or then, kapag wala ka pang devotional notebook, here are some tips, okay, in this video that would help you na uh, sabihin natin na papagbulay-bulayan yung isang verse na napili mo. Okay? So, let's do that. Okay. So, uh, I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of, or we have kalat sa buong YouTube community yung mga uh, ways on how to do your devotion. So, kalat na kalat, marami. And the easiest thing for me, hindi ko na kayo pahihirapan, then definitely, okay, is to select a method of your devotion. Ano nga ba yung method na gagamitin ninyo? So, we have space, we have pets, space pets, some, some yung mga ibang tao ginagamit yun. Pero, I would highly suggest that you use the SOAP method or the SOAP method. So, ano ba yung SOAP method? It's gonna be the scripture, the observation, the application, and prayer. So, let's talk about that for a while. So, John 3.16 yung scripture mo. Ngayon, you already have your S or your scripture. Ngayon, ano naman yung observation, Kuya Carl? So, yung observation is what have you observed? What is being said on that verse? Okay? And what struck out to you or stuck in you when you are reading that verse. Diba? John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay? So, yun yung scripture mo, John 3.16 and your observation on John 3.16 is gonna be what? Ah, I know that God loves all people. Why? Because for God so loved the world. And then what happened? That He gave His only begotten Son. And who is that begotten Son? It's Jesus Christ. Diba? That whosoever 
if ibig sabihin na that whosoever it requires no race it requires no ethnicity it requires no um no particular status in life di ba kasi na kaya sinabi whosoever kahit sino believes in him maniwala sa kanya will have what will have eternal life will not perish will not perish but have everlasting or eternal life that is observation and then the next one okay the next one is application so paano naman naman siya i-apply sa buhay mo di ba so application this portion of your devotion is going to be your personal personal mo na to how would you apply the verse that you read onto your life okay so i don't know what would struck with you pero ako alam mo i read John 3:16 di ba I could apply this unto my life that God loves me, that God cares for me, that God's love is mega off the chart, and that He gave His only Son for me to die on the cross so that I will be saved from the punishment that is about to come to me. Okay? Kasi, di ba? I would not perish but have everlasting life so that I could have eternal life. So, I would... Ang application mo dun is... I would live for Christ every day. Just what like Apostle Paul had mentioned that to live is Christ but to die is gain. So I will take up my cross, live for Jesus Christ each and every day of my life. So ganun, pwede mo maging application yun. Paano mo may apply sa buhay yun? And then and I could share the gospel to to the to those people, the love of God to those people, not just by words but also by actions. And also the last thing is, this is very optional for you to write down, but your prayer. The last thing is prayer. So, ano yung prayer? Of course, it's the thing that you have. You're you're praying. Uh, the thing that you do when you talk to God. Okay, it's you talking to God. Okay, so you pray. What would be your prayer? That uh, Lord, I thank you for for dying on the cross for me. Almighty God, thank you for sending your Son Jesus Christ to to die in behalf of me on the cross. So that my sins would be forgiven, something like that. Okay, so that is so. So scripture, observation, application, prayer. Para sa akin, mga kapatid, kaya sinabi ko tong um, so na to. It's one of the easiest method of um, doing devotion. So definitely, definitely, I require this to each and every new believer. Pero simply kapag lumalalim ka na sa panginoon. Have, a, have some effort, di ba? Huwag naman mag-stick kayo sa soap for a very, very long time. But what I want you to do is go ahead and do a soap method kung bago ka pa ng sa pananampalataya. Kapatid, so that's the thing that we should consider before we do devotion and while we are doing devotion. And of course, just a bonus. If you want to, before ka mag-start mag-devotion, you could um, spend time playing your favorite worship song, favorite your favorite of uh, yung pwede ka mag-start ng praise and worship. But of course, always remember that you have, okay, that you have to start by praying and end in prayer also. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung at yung that's the thing that we have to do. So, again, ready everything. Pick a quiet place. Pick a time for your devotion. Do the soap method, which is the easiest method for your devotion. Go ahead, go to National Bookstore, buy our daily bread or some devotional book that you could see there. Okay, and then of course it's good also to ask your leaders about. Uh, you know, mas maganda kasi pag personal na tinuturo yung devotion on a step-by-step -step basis on how do they do their devotion. So, the thing that I'm saying here is just one of the ways on how to do it for you guys. That's it. And so, I hope you've learned a lot on this video. And as always, do everything for the glory of God and not for me. This is your boy, Carly Boy, leaving you with a quote and saying that God exists whether you like it or not. And also, please do hit that uh, subscribe button it really helps me a lot to keep me going in this content that i'm doing and so that i know that some people you are watching <laughs> okay so hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button so that you will be notified when i upload another video so 
we got a bit more videos coming for you guys so I'll always praying for you guys for your safety stay safe and may you be protected against coronavirus god bless you all i'll see you in the next video